assembled. We prepped, we painted, we designed and we executed. This is the final product. Guys, Leander, Heisi, this build is insane. What did we do? I think insane is a bit of a dull word. Yeah. It's spectacularly awesome. <laughs> it is indeed, yes. Leander, I think what Leander did is he, um, he brought the best that's currently available, probably that will ever be available, creative-wise together to create what you can see, an actual green monster. Leander, uh, if you can just elaborate a bit on where did we start and where did we finish with this boat? Well, to start off, we had to put together a special team of guys. You know, people that can uh, give us some good ideas, even the improvising the ideas that we have. And there we have Yanni and we have Geisi here. Probably top guys in the free state to deal with, if not in the country. And then myself. Um, you know, we all have a passion for what we do and this is the outcome. So. Uh, we had to think out of the box here because we really wanted to do something special for our clients. Something that's unique that you won't find anywhere else. And when you go through the car with us, you'll see what we did. And uh, yeah, it's quite special, I have to say. Okay, Leona, so starting off, boom. What an extreme color. We had to start special. somewhere and you had to pick a color. Yeah. Well, before we can start with anything of this project, we had to choose a color that can go with the car and also which suits our customer's taste. And uh, it happens to be his favorite color as well. And yeah, so Heisi, I came to Heisi for that. And uh, he refined everything from there for us. This is a very special color. You'll have to go very far to find this. But yeah, let Heisi take it away. Candy apple green or monster green. And uh, with a special clear coat on Leander, because as Leander uh, expected, these type of runs need to take punishment of all the rocks or stones that can probably eat it because it's driven off-road, it's not driven in the city. Yeah, it's a very high performance off-road machine. And uh, you know, the zero to 100 for this car is 4.4 seconds. Mm. And uh, uh, we did some performance enhancements on this car, so it's a bit faster now, we reckon. And, uh, but yeah, you need strong paint for that sort of performance, especially off-road. <laughs> I think the color tells you is serious performance here. <laughs> and uh, uh, the scheme, Leander, with the, the type of black metallic that you get in your plastic parts and then you get your, your more matte black together with the glossy rum black and then the monster green or canny apple green. It's just uh, the way it came together, it's, it's perfect. Diana, yeah. let's move to some other accessories that you fitted on on, uh, on the scan yes. uh, If I can start up top, th this yellow, what do you want to call it, LED fog lamps or spot lamps. Yes. They're definitely not uh, standard. So yeah, we imported these lights for the customer, especially when you drive at night. So yellow takes away, uh, you know, it gives you the depth of the terrain, so you can judge the terrain. Especially at speed, you want to be able to judge the terrain. So we brought in these yellow lights for him. If I look at this rear view mirrors, they look extremely well made and strong. Yeah, they're very strong. They come off uh, trophy trucks from America. You know, we import them as well. And uh, they're very strong. They can take a lot of vibration. And um, especially on these cars running off-road at that speed, you get a lot of vibration. And then uh, we included this bar. Do you think it's necessary though? Because you're gonna be so quick. There's gonna uh, be no, we have nobody in the rear view mirror. Yeah, I think it's just for reversing out of your garage in okay. the morning when you wanna load it on the trailer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then this handle I'm hanging on to, we imported them as well. It's nice for getting out of the car. It's very overwhelming when you get into this car for the first time. And uh, you need something to stabilize you, give you a bit of balance. Because uh, I've found lots of people that's driven with us in these cars before. They didn't know what came for them. And uh, yeah, so we have to help them out. 
but now they can help out themselves. <laughs> Before they faint. Yeah. <laughs> Leona, so not all items fitted to this Can-Am is uh, imported. Some of it is specially custom made by yourself. Maybe elaborate on that a bit. Yeah, like these rock deflectors, you know, we've been racing these cars and we've been involved with them since they, they came into the country. That's about 10 years now. And we've learned what we need to do to them to protect them. So, uh, um, you know, the, the car's got lots of power, so it's always, in a, most of the time, in a four-wheel spin. So it throws rock from the front tire to the back, and it hits the control arm here, and then it deflects the rocks into the rim, damaging your discs, damaging your calipers, your hub. So with these rock deflectors, we're preventing that, and uh, I think it's quite a clever idea. It fits quite flush. It looks, it doesn't look, it looks custom, but it looks part of the, of, of, of the can, I mean, it looks like it should be there. Yeah, well, like most of the stuff we do, it's not our first, so uh, it just gets better. <laughs> Leander, then um, something I noticed is the shock, the position of the shock. If I looked at the standard version, the shock is now on the side, not on top. Why, why did you do it that way? Well, if you look at the speaker, which I also presume you saw, um, this huge, massive spaceship. It's, it's the biggest speakers we could get from Rockford Foscape. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, this is what the customer wants. It's what we, it's what we give him. It's problem. what we give him. And um, so this canister, it, it, it's a part, part of the bypass system of the suspension. But this canister needs to get air. So we couldn't hide it away, you know, to fit the speaker. We had to think of a way to fit it here, still make it look flash, still keep the, it practical because the combination of the hydrogen and oil in the shock needs to keep at a stable temperature. So the character of the car stays the same throughout your ride. And uh, yeah, I think we did quite well there because uh, it did the job. Perfect. Yeah. Leona, so these can are extremely fast in their standard factory spec. But of course, for this type of build, you decided to really soup it up for your client. Tell us a bit about the exhaust system. Well, when the car comes out of the factory, out of the crate, it's about 200 horsepower. So uh, with the exhaust system and the mapping we did on the, on the MPM, on the computer box, um, we took it up to about 230 horsepower. So yeah, that makes the car very quick. You know, we had to do something extreme to the performance, seeing that we did all these extreme stuff to the car. But yeah, uh, um, it's a titanium Yoshimura exhaust and uh, it works very well. From Japan, well. <laughs> Yoshi. It's very crisp and uh, yeah, then we did some modifications to the clutch system because the engine puts out so much more power. We have to get that power to the ground and that works through the clutch system. So we did the, uh, we, we changed the weights, we imported special springs that can accommodate all of that power. So you changed the, the, the complete clutch? Yeah, so uh, we stripped In weight or just in the way it operates? Uh, the way it operates. So it's a CVT, it's a continuous variable trim system. Yeah. So it's the, if my nails was the weights, we changed that. So that makes that the car engages quicker into the, in, into the power zones yeah. and stays into the power zones. Yeah. Obviously, you've got better acceleration and, yeah. and, and um, even performance. Yes. And also with, with all the power, if uh, we had to change the spring so it can pinch the belt a bit, a bit tighter so it doesn't slip. And that creates heat on the belt and that makes them break. So, we want to build something that can last, obviously. It's, it's one thing to build something, but to make it last, that's the most important. So what you're saying, it doesn't just look nice, it's gonna be reliable as well, and this guy, if he wants to, can go take this machine straight out and race it. 